that I actually bought. Alright. It's a good spot to get a camera too, like I said. Right. Where the gang's at? <laughs> So the other place that I said had a nice selection of games, they had a really bad pricing. So we're <laughs> going to check out uh, the pawn shop, see if we can find anything good. And all modern stuff? Okay, let's go. Oh, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I think they might have something like a Zelda game. You might have Raiden 4. Yeah, this is... They, they have some things here and there sometimes. But... Xbox One. Not worth getting up the yeah. garbage. And you know what the funny thing is? They used to have a uh, a virtual boy down there for a hundred bucks. Apparently, someone bought it. Sounds like fuck it, boy. Garnia. Oh yeah. Maybe the prices aren't like outrageous. Viva Soccer. Oh my god. Computer games. Box computer games. Awesome. There you go. That crash. It's alright. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Seriously? Wow. Yeah. Three ninety nine. Too bad there's like four thousand copies out there. Yeah. Oh, this is a sealed world soccer game. Is it sealed? Oh wow. Okay. Huh. That's actually pretty cool. Fifteen now. Eight bucks. Yeah, it's hard to tell if it's. Oh yeah, it is sealed. Sealed game. Mm. That's garbage. Probably not worth a lot. Uh -huh. It's like a hundred bucks. I'll take it. Alright guys, we just came back from, I don't know if you can see. It's called Thrift Store. Thrift Store. Uh, not too bad. Uh, crazy Cubano. Ah! <laughs> Spotted this out. My name is my heat. I don't know if you, oh there it goes. Super Mario. Uh, Super, Super Star Super Baseball. Baseball. Not too bad, I don't actually own this. and uh, Four bucks. Looking for, yeah, four dollars. I would have picked it up, but I already got it. So. That's the guy, man. He could have picked it up and made some money off it, but he decided, no, man, I got to keep it. Now, Mahito's here. Ah, Mahito, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go get some food. Get some food, probably hit up some other places, and then we're going to hit Retro City Games. That's where the shit's at. We should at. need to go right yeah. now. Fuck the other. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> He's probably right. <laughs> well, we're going to up there. Oh, I guess it's better days. Seen better days. Three dollars. Ah. These. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Supposedly, this one will get you in shape. I'll yeah. He'll it. It. get you in shape, all right. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, no, that's not terrible. I'm assuming 10 bucks. Yeah. I would love for the broken one. 10 bucks. 12 dollars <laughs> <laughs> They want more from. Hey, why do you guys want more from? <laughs> that's ridiculous. I guess they'd be coming when it's 25 I'm not surprised, to be honest with you. Right. You're not surprised? No. Because that's how a lot of these places are. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh, are they really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me feel oh, hard. <laughs> I can see why it's still here. <laughs> Alright guys, here at Retro City Games. Guaranteed to have some good stuff. 
I like that price on that top loader. He's gonna buy a top loader now. Yeah. <laughs> Come check it out. They got a lot of good shit in. Picking up a couple things here. Yeah, these yeah, sorry about the it's quality. Lots, lots of Not the best. Oh, I can see that one. Look at this guy. What do you got? What do you got? I got what a got? couple things. So some, right. some pretty nice. These are really mint. Good Mario prices. Party, a little beat up, but I mean. Oh, hold on a second. Give me that. All right. So he's got. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Dang, that's fucked up, man. Come check him out. Come check him out. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Seek, Find, Play. Uh, as you can tell, I am uh, here alone. Um, unfortunately. Rolando is not going to be in this video. I have no idea what happened to him. Um, haven't heard from him in a couple days. So I substituted, found the best thing that I can that uh, kind of looks like Rolando. And uh, here he is. I got Chef here. So, uh, Chef's going to be hanging out with us a little bit. Uh, sorry about the poor lighting. Uh, I'm using my iPhone to record this right now. Um, I'm doing a lot of rearrangement in my uh, game room right now. So things are kind of scattered around, uh, unfortunately. So... Hopefully once it's all said and done, it's going to look awesome and you guys are going to be uh, pretty impressed with it. So this was um, a day me and uh, Crazy Cubano actually decided to get together and uh, go uh, thrift stores hunting. Uh, see if we can find any uh, hidden gems out there, any rare games or anything. So this is uh, basically what I picked up uh, during the day. And I'm going to go ahead and start here. Um, this, All these games right now that I'm going to show are were at $1 at a pawn shop. So... Uh, I'd say about 80% were complete in a box, and uh, again, one dollar. Dance with the Stars, uh, Mojo, Cue Ball, uh, Flat Out, <clears throat> Outlaw Volleyball, Lynx 2004, uh, Legends of Wrestling, Wave Rally. And then uh, Pro Bait Challenge. Um, out of all these, I probably will keep a couple of them. Most of them I'll probably end up uh, selling or trading in. Again, they're a dollar each. Uh, I wasn't breaking the bank and picked up a couple. So those are the best ones out of all of them that they had there. <coughs> then we went to another... Um, this is actually a new thrift shop that uh, me and Crazy Cubano found. We decided to go in and check. We actually looked around the whole store and found absolutely nothing besides, I think, a Resident Evil 4 for the PC loose. Uh, I don't like loose discs, so I definitely didn't want to pick it up. But before we left, he actually found this. And he uh, asked if I owned it, because he did, and he was actually pretty cool to let me pick it up. And I picked it up for 4 bucks, and uh, that's Mario Superstar Baseball. Complete. In box. The manual is in there. Like I said, 4 bucks. Um, again, uh, Crazy Cabano, thank you. I don't own this. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm really, uh, I really like the sports Mario games, golf, tennis. Um, you had soccer, I think, at one point. Did you have soccer? I don't remember. I know I played a lot of the golf and tennis ones. Um, so, looking forward to playing the baseball one. Yeah, they did have Mario soccer. Jesus, uh, I'm sorry guys, I... It's been a long week, um, still recovering from being sick and stuff like that, so. But uh, I am going to play this, and I'm going to play the hell out of it, because again, I enjoy the games. Uh, next stop was actually our first stop of the day, uh, was at Desert, Desert Industries in Las Vegas. And I picked up two things there. Uh, first one is, I believe, a Game Boy Advance um, transfer pack, or transfer cable. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I know it's the end of the Game Boy Advance. Uh, it was only a dollar, so, I mean, even if it's just a piece of crap cable, it's just a dollar, so no big deal. And, of course, how can you go a day without hitting uh, Retro City Games? Again, if you guys are in the Las Vegas area, check them out if you come to visit. Definitely a great store to check out. Uh, the people there are friendly. Um, 
I can't give enough uh, sh uh, can't give enough of a shout out to them. I mean, they they always work with me. Uh, they're always cool with me. They they're always willing to let me know about the new stuff that comes in. Just an amazing store, uh, and I it's a store that they actually play games and know about video games and not just hey I know this is worth money I'm gonna sell it no they know what the hell they have so it's pretty cool um, so I picked up a couple things from there uh, first one is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 brand new for Game Gear uh, five dollars pretty cool um, I'm always I don't really like collecting brand new games but for five dollars and I mean Sonic I mean you can't go wrong with Sonic so that's pretty cool uh, this one uh, Legend of Zelda Link uh, to the Past. Yes, I own it for the uh, the Super Nintendo. Um, but of course, I'm I like to collect them all. I have the first four Zeldas complete in box, so this is going to be uh, number five. Um, looks pretty awesome. The box is uh, a little beat up, but they only charged me five dollars for the box and manual, so I was like, eh, why not? Five dollars more. I can put it in a little protective uh, case and it'll, be, it'll look fine. Um, and the cool thing is now while I'm in bed, I can play Link to the Past, so pretty excited. That's probably one of my uh, favorite Zelda games. So, And then this one. This is a hidden gem. Uh, not a lot of people know about it. Um, I was pretty excited to find it. I have a list of 10 games, I believe, that are hidden gems or games that people don't know a lot about which considers this hidden gem. Uh, I think this is number 4 out of the 10, and that's uh, Vice Project Doom. I'm really excited to play this. Uh, I've seen videos of it, I've seen reviews, so um, it looks awesome. I mean, I don't think I'm going to I'm gonna have any uh, doubt that it's not going to be awesome. The next one is more of a uh, personal sentimental value item. Um, I played this game a lot. I have finished it, and I'm not exaggerating, probably about 30, 40 times. And I'm not talking about just finishing it, playing it, and just beating the last game. I'm talking doing everything in the game. Um, this game got me through a lot of hard times. It, it always brought joy in my life because I just enjoyed it so much. And it's probably one of the only games that my wife has actually sat down uh, besides uh, the first Zelda and actually enjoyed watching me play. Um, I do own the game, but I never owned the box. Um, I, and I've had the manual too, and that is Super Mario 64. It's n The box is not worth a lot of money, um, but this box looks awesome. Um, and the cool thing is, like I said, the guys at Retro City Games, uh, both uh, Doug and Nicole, always willing to work with me, and they sold me just the box. And I was pretty excited about it. I am stoked to have this in my collection. Uh, when I get my display case in, this is definitely going to be one of the games I'm going to display because like I said, it's more of not just owning it for because I want to own it. It's more, you know, it means a lot more to me than anything. So, uh, guys, I really appreciate you selling me the box. Uh, you guys are awesome. Um, and that's it. That was our day. Um, again, thanks to uh, Crazy Cubano for coming out. Um, had an awesome time. Great guy to hang out with. Um, funny as hell. Um, I don't think there was a dull moment the whole time we are going out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I uh, apologize. Again, I was using my iPhone uh, because I haven't talked to Rolando in a while. I don't know what the hell happened to the guy. I'm a little concerned. So I'll probably, uh, maybe I'll make another video and see what's going on and let you guys have an update. But uh, until then, guys, uh, enjoy and I'll see you next time. Later. Majid, no!